Hey, I'm Caroline from Coconut Singapore and I thought myself how to make soya bean milk. So from April to June, Singapore was under this circuit breaker period which is what we probably consider as a partial lockdown. Everything except for essential businesses were closed and everyone was ordered to stay at home and could only go out for necessities. Being cooped up at home leaves you with not much to do besides being online. I stumbled upon this video that teaches you how to make soy milk and it looks so easy, I had to try it. Before I started making it at home, I was ordering in industrially made ones that you can find in the supermarkets but it did not taste the same. I mean, it's still good but I know it's not the same. So now that I've made it a couple more times and confident enough to say that I've mastered making it to my satisfaction. To make it, you only need a couple of ingredients and now that circuit breaker period is over, you can even rope your friends in. Tell them you need more support like I did. The ingredients needed are really cheap. One bag of beans costs slightly more than a dollar. That will probably give you like a week's supply of milk. And the process is really easy. You soak the beans overnight, you wash them thoroughly, grind them, strain and boil. And when it's done, you can also adjust the sweetness according to how much you like as compared to the ready-made ones. I always love soy milk. Traditionally, it's kind of a Singaporean thing to go get it as a drink when you're having breakfast at hawker centres or wet markets. They will sell it in big tubs where you scoop it out with huge ladles. It's all homemade and they don't add any preservatives so it's really fresh. Sometimes I like to switch it up and mix it with grass jelly drink which is like a herbal jelly dessert that adds some kind of texture and sweetness to it. They also come in bean curd form, kind of like pudding with a layer of syrup on top. Some stalls will even mix the drink with other ingredients and turn it into a dessert. To me, soy milk is considered a traditional staple drink in Singapore and I hope that more people will know how easy it is to make it at home. Shout out to my lactose intolerant friends, you're welcome. Coconuts TV